So you might be trying to figure out how you can add music over a video on your Android phone. Now, this is a very basic thing to do. So basically, you may have tons of videos or photos even on your specific photos application, and you want to add a song over that video. So there's no way to do this natively on your Android phone. You will have to download an application. So you can download any app, any video editing app has this type of capability. In this case, I am using CapCut since it's one of the more popular video editors. It's made by the TikTok people. This one's not even that great, but you can use whichever one you want to use. It's totally fine. So download CapCut or another video editor, and you can go ahead and open up this specific video editor, and you want to give it the correct permissions. So it might ask for you to go ahead and you know uh, allow access to photos and videos. So you just want to go ahead and allow it. You can allow notifications if you want to. But in this case, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and allow and create a new project. So we want to give it allow and give it access right there. And it's going to bring in any video or all videos that we have on our specific device. So what we can do here is I'm going to go ahead and bring in a standard video. This one I made not too long ago. Now I'm going to go and click add, which is on the bottom right corner. It's going to say footage processing. I'm going to say whatever. I don't even care. Now what we're going to do is we'll get this little pop-up, right? It looks a little intimidating and there's a lot of stuff here, but just bear with me for one second. So at the bottom, we have a couple of things. We have audio, text. We want to find the audio button right here. And all we want to do is we want to click on the audio button. And it's going to allow us to search for a song. We can go ahead and bring in a song if we want to. We want to search for a song. What we can do is we can click search and we can find a song if we want. So here, if we want, we can search for a song. I don't even know what songs are available. But if we want to, I can search for like a Drake song, maybe. I don't know. And I'll be able to add one of these songs over that one. So again, it just depends. I probably wouldn't recommend doing that way. But the other option you have is finding a song within your specific, you know, library. So what you can do is you can go and click Extracted. So what you can do is you can go and click Extract, and you can find a song from your specific photo library or your video library if you want to extract a song that way too. And you can also go and go back and, you know, find your saved photos or videos from there too. So now let's say I wanted to record audio. Well, what I can do is I can go ahead and give it access to my microphone. And I can go ahead and start recording while I'm talking. So as soon as it counts down from 3, 2, 1, I can go and start recording. I can also play a song from another video or another device, and I can also bring it into here too. And whenever I'm done, I can just click stop. And then if you look back, it'll actually go ahead and play the audio, the song, the recording, whatever I did over that video I just made. And that's another way you can do it too. So once you're done, you can go and click done in the bottom right corner. You can go and click share on the top right corner, and it'll go and export the video out, and you can post it wherever you want to. So that pretty much covers it up. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video.